Hi, my name is Chester, and I'm a software development engineer with Amazon QuickSight. Amazon QuickSight is a scalable, serverless, embeddable, ML-powered BI service built for the cloud that you can use to deliver easy-to-understand insights to the people who you work with, wherever they are. And today, I'm going to demo a new development of QuickSight's anomaly detection feature. That the Explore Anomaly experience is now supported in embedded dashboards for all QuickSight readers. Amazon QuickSight uses proven Amazon technology to continuously run ML-powered anomaly detection across millions of metrics to discover hidden trends and outliers in your data. This anomaly detection enables you to get deep insights that are often buried in the aggregates and not scalable with manual analysis. With the ML-powered anomaly detection, you can find outliers in your data without the need for manual analysis, custom development, or ML domain expertise. And the Explore Anomalies experience provides a way to interactively explore the anomalies in your analysis, along with the contributors or key drivers of those at outliers. In this video, I will present how readers can explore anomalies per category or dimension, how contribution analysis can help root cause key drivers of the anomalies, how the interaction with parameter controls works, and finally, how readers can view historical anomalies by date with the new embedded Explore Anomalies experience. Here we are looking at a business review dashboard in embedded view. And we have already created an anomaly detection widget for monthly revenue goal against channel type and customer region. We can see that there are two anomalies have been detected. For example, the first one indicates total revenue goal for web channel type in EMEA region was higher than expected for January 2014. To dive deep, click the Explore Anomalies link on the Anomaly Detection Insight widget, which will take us to the Explore Anomalies page. The main section of the Explore Anomalies screen shows the anomaly breakdown by category or dimension on the most recent anomaly state. Each category or dimension has a separate chart that uses the category value as the chart title. For example, uh, this chart indicates the revenue goal for web channel type in EMEA region. The anomalous time range of the category are highlighted in the graph. You can also drag the cursor over the timeline without choosing a specific point to display the metric value for that point in time. If your anomaly insight is configured to detect key drivers, QuickSight runs contribution analysis to determine which categories or dimensions are influencing the detected anomalies. The contribution analysis section displayed on the left, you can also manually start an analysis by selecting a point on the line chart. And you will see a context menu offering the option to analyze contributions to the current metric, which is revenue goal. On the left side, you can choose up to four fields to analyze. Here we choose segment and service line, and you can also select the time frame you want to analyze. Then click Analyze. Here we can see that uh, these are the top contributors to the revenue goal increase for segment and seventh line. The settings for anomaly detection are located in the controls section of the screen. You can open and close this section by clicking near the word controls, like this. Control options here can help you dive deep into the anomaly detection results. For example, 
Severity says how sensitive your detector is to the detected anomalies. You should expect uh, to see more anomalies with the threshold set to low and above. And the fewer anomalies when threshold is set to, for example, high and above. And uh, the direction is to filter anomalies by higher than expected or lower than expected or both. Finally, the number of anomalies chart displays anomalies uh, detected over time. You can display it by choose show anomalies by date. This graph shows how many significant anomalies there were for each time point. In this example, there are two anomalies detected in January 2014 and one in March 2016. By simply click on the date, you can view the anomalies categories on the selected date in the line chart down below. To summarize, the embedded explore anomaly experience is helpful for embedded dashboard readers to interactively explore anomalies of the datasets, along with the contributors and key drivers for those anomalies. To learn more about anomaly detection in QuickSight, you can visit Amazon QuickSight's documentation website or reach out to Amazon support. Thanks for watching.